Welcome back friends. Teacher Brittany here with Circle Time Club in the Home CEO Academy. Do you remember my clue from earlier this week as to our theme? Our sunglasses. Yes. All right, let's find out more. for the Hello Song with Lexi. Hello kids, it's great to see you today. Look what these glasses can do. Ta-da! Hello, hello, hello everyone. It's great to see you. Plus the kitty is so cute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It is great to see you. And Kitty Boo is so cute. Bye, see you later. Welcome to our rhyme today. Here are my eyes. Here are my eyes. I give a wink. When they're open, I see the light. When they're closed, it's dark as night. I have a little body that belongs to me. I have two ears to help me hear and two eyes to see. I have a nose for smelling and a mouth to eat. I have two hands to wave at everyone I meet. Bye. Welcome back to our theme board and our last week of sentences. I have some really interesting facts about how our eyes help us to not only see, but help keep our eyes protected with what's around them. Our first sentence reads, eyes come in different shapes, sizes, and colors. So not everybody has the same eye color. Sometimes there's people with brown eyes, blue eyes, green eyes, even hazel. And have you ever seen a husky or even a person with two different colored eyes, some people are actually born like that, even though it's not very common. And next, we have our eyes have lids to protect and keep them from drying out. So our eyelids help protect our eyes. Do you ever have something that came towards you, maybe a branch or something, and you closed your eyes so that you protect them from getting scratched? So our eyelids protect them and also our eyelashes are a built-in defense against dirt and debris to keep our eyes clean. And last, have you ever gotten an eyelash or some dirt in your eye and your eyes start watering a lot? That is actually a way for your eye to expel or get out whatever is in there all on its own. So it helps produce all that extra fluid to flush your eye out and keep it clean and healthy. I hope you had fun learning all about your sight and eyes this week. Let's head over to the desk with Teacher Mariah for our wake up warm ups. Wake up warm up. Today we're <laughs> gonna use our eyes to observe things. Now Lexi, first of all, we've got an alligator here. Our next thing we have is a tiger. I'll put it to the side so you can see it better. And then last but not least, we've got a very, very big <laughs> elephant here. Now what your job, Lexi, is you are gonna use your eyes to observe these animals and then I want you to use describing words to describe them, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. All right, what do you see here? Tell me its name and then give me three describing it's words. It's called an elephant and it's gray and sort of rough, you know? And, and it's large. And large, that's three describing words. Okay, Lexi, what about this? Tell me what it is and give me three words to describe it. It's a it. tiger. It's fierce and furry and dangerous. Hmm. And what about our 
think this is a crocodile. What about a crocodile? It's a crocodile. It's also dangerous and rough. And a scream. Very good. So at home, you can find things around the house to look at with your eyes, observe, and then describe them with describing words. Like for example, you could even describe the fact that it has long tusks that are white and it has a thin tail. And you could say it's got big ears. Um, and even here with this tiger, you could say it's got stripes, long teeth. For our um, crocodile here, you could say it's kind of got scaly skin and a long tail and also some big teeth and a thin snout. So use your eyes to observe and then also use your words to describe what you observed this week. Thank you for your help, Lexi. You're welcome. Nice work with your wake up warm ups. Now let's get ready for story time with teacher Ashley. Today's book is Philomena's New Glasses by Brenna Maloney. You see our guinea pig wearing glasses? That's pretty silly, isn't it? Philomena, Audrey, and Nora Jane were sisters. Philomena was the oldest by three seconds. Audrey was the largest by half a pound. And then there was Nora Jane. Philomena had a problem. She had terrible eyesight. A pair of glasses made everything better. <laughs> Before glasses, that's how she saw, and after glasses. Now she could see her, her sisters more clearly. But as soon as Philomena got glasses, Audrey got glasses too. Philomena disapproved. Audrey, you don't need glasses, she said. That's okay, said Audrey. I'll just wear them on top of my head. So here she's wearing them. This worried Nora Jane. She didn't need glasses either. But if her sisters were wearing glasses, then maybe she should too. Now all three sisters had glasses, whether they needed them or not. Not long after, Philomena bought a handbag. It was a good place to keep her glasses. <laughs> Audrey decided she needed a handbag too. Not to put her glasses in though. Her glasses were always on top of her head. She kept snacks in her handbag. Philomena disapproved but the snacks were delicious. Good grief, thought Nora Jane. Now I have to carry a handbag too? My arms are too short for this. I'm not even a snacker. Now all three sisters had glasses and handbags, with or without snacks. <laughs> it's getting sillier and sillier. Not long after, Philomena thought that she might like to have a new dress to go with her new glasses and her new handbag. Not to be outdone, Audrey rushed out and found something to wear too. <laughs> this is absurd, thought Nora Jane. This dress makes my armpits itch. <laughs> Look at her outfit. She looks pretty silly, doesn't she? Now all three sisters had glasses and handbags and outfits, itchy or otherwise. Nora Jane was miserable. She went to talk to her sister. Audrey, she said, I don't need glasses. My arms are too short to carry a handbag and this dress is itchy. Well, Audrey said, my tutu is a little tight, but Philomena really needs her glasses, and I use my handbag for snacks. Hmm. 
but not everyone needs the same things. And so it was decided that Philomena would keep her glasses. Audrey would keep her handbag for snacks. Every with everything was fine until Nora Jane got a necklace. <laughs> that was Philomena's New Glasses by Brenna Maloney. Friends, thank you for joining me at my work table. Now remember, all activities we do at the work table need to be completed with teacher or caregiver support. Today we do not have a directed drawing, but we are going to take a look at two letter coloring pages and two other activities. So here's our first letter coloring page. We have a picture of an owl and an illustration to color just like our picture, and then the word owl to trace. Our next one is a popsicle. Now this one has a bite taken out of it. This one does not, but that's okay. You can color your popsicle whatever color you like, or you can copy it to look like the picture. And then we have the word popsicle to trace. Our next activity is E is for I. E-Y-E -E is how you spell the word I like what you see from. So we're going to trace the letter E, uppercase and lowercase, and draw two eyes on the face below. You can make them whatever color you like. And this one is called Under the Microscope. It says circle the correct number of bugs, or you can color the correct number of bugs that you see under each microscope. So this microscope sees how many bugs? One, two, three. So then I would find the number three over here. Do you see the number three? Here it is. And I would circle the number three. Okay. So that is under the microscope. E is for I. And we had O is for owl and P is for Popsicle. I hope you enjoy completing these activities. Okay kids, let's get moving with this week's action cards. Can you blink slowly like you're falling asleep? Can you search for something through binoculars? Can you protect your eyes with sunglasses? Can you widen your eyes like an owl? Good job. I hope you had as much fun today as I did, but now it's time for goodbye. Remember, go out, have fun with your activities and worksheets, and we always love to see your work. But for now, we'll say goodbye. From teacher Brittany and everyone here from the Home CEO Academy, have a great day and we will see you soon. Bye-bye. You could be larger than